connected to the real half mind. First off, a very special thanks to Martyrs Haven. Without their help, I couldn't have made this video. Second, if you're attempting to repair any broken mods or follow any of the steps in this video, please back up any data or files that will be used before attempting anything. We are not responsible for what you do on your PC. Third, this is not a 100% fix-all, it is focusing on mods with CMD files that were broken during the patch updates and were never updated by the original author. I will be going through a lot of steps to get you set up to repair mods as well as show you three broken mods I will be repairing. Lastly, stay until the end, and if this is something you want to see a video on, then just let me know in the comments. Opening your root folder will happen pretty often. Having a quick and easy way to access it is a must. Now, depending on how you've installed, SF6 will determine how this shortcut will work. I just did a brand new install on PC number 2 from Steam. If I right-click on this shortcut, there is no option to open file from location. If this happens to you, head to Steam, go into your library, right-click on Street Fighter 6, Properties, Installed Files. Browse. This will take us to our root folder. Find the sf6.exe if you don't see .exe. Open a folder, any folder. Click on View at the top, then File Name Extensions. Okay, now you'll need a shortcut to this exe placed on your desktop or modding folder. However you wish to set yours up, click and drag with the right mouse button to the destination of your choice and select Create Shortcut here. And now you can right click on this and open file location to quickly get to your root folder. First, set up a folder for all the files you'll be collecting. For my example, I'm just calling it Street Fighter 6. Then, inside that folder, Files. In the description, I will put links to all of the files you'll need. Next, create a folder called JSON Files. This will be for the additional JSON files from the various updates. The first one to get is the Akuma JSON files. Click on Browse the green code box, then click on Download Zip. This will go into our Modding Files folder. I just did a quick rename here to help it make sense. Next will be the EdJSON file. Click on Browse Files. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Click on this JSON file. Next these three dots, then Download. This will go into our JSON Files folder. Rename this file by adding ed at the beginning. We will do the same for the next few JSON files. Next we are getting EMV Engine, Console and RE Engine Resource Editor. Click on the green code button, then download as zip. Open the zip file, then copy them over to the files folder. Next thing to get is the fluffy quack mod manager. Just scroll down a little and click download. Unzip the file. Create a folder called Fluffy Mod Manager and place the files in it. Here we are getting RE Framework. Scroll down and click Show All 14 Assets, then click on SF6.zip. Open this zip file, and the only one you need is DINPUT8 DLL. Place this in your ongoing files folder. Get Discord, if you're not already in one, and join this Discord. Links in the description for both. Head to the Street Fighter 6 section, then click on Pins at the top here. Get both the CMD and file names list. When you click the download icon, it will automatically open a browser window for you. 
For the next one, it will give a potential warning. It's fine to download. Then, move both of these over to your Files folder. After you copy and paste the link for RE Tool into your browser window, it will automatically download. You will need 7-zip to open this file. Make a folder within your Files folder called RE Tools and place the files there. Also grab Lua Free Cam while you're here. This will be in the Discord Exclusive section. Click here, then scroll down on the side and click the Download button. You'll get another potential danger warning, but it is fine to download. Create a new folder. Open the zip and toss the contents in the folder you just created. Two folders to have open now. One, your files folder that should have these items and your root folder. We will be moving this file into your root folder and launching the game. You'll notice a new menu pop-up. This is the file we just copied over. By default, the insert key is the shortcut key to turn this menu on or off. If you'd like to use a different key, click on configuration then menu key and use the key of your choice. Just don't use any of the letter keys. Now exit the game and take a look in the root folder. We will see a newly created folder called RE Framework. Open that folder and create an additional folder called Data. In the Data folder, we will create a folder called RSZ. And in this folder, we will copy all of the contents from the Akuma Update folder. We also need to grab Ultimate Mod Manager from Nexus Mods. Paste this link into your browser window and download the mod. In your Files Gathering folder, create a new folder called Ultimate Mod Manager. Unzip the file and place the contents in the folder you just created. In our root folder, go to RE Framework, then the Plugins folder. In here, we will put the Ultimate Mod Manager. Next, we are going to the root folder, RE Framework, Auto Run. In here, we are putting the Lua Free Cam mod. From here, go back one folder and hop in the Data folder. We will be adding our JSON files to it. Back to the root folder and the files folder. Copy the pack names list file over. Open the RE tool folder and copy these files over to the root folder too. From the files folder, we will set up Fluffy Mod Manager. Open up Fluffy by double clicking on this file. You will need to select Street Fighter 6 under this Choose Game tab. Minimize and go back to the Fluffy folder. In here we now see a folder that says Games. Enter this and then go in the SF6 folder. Go in the Mods folder and we will add the mods from our Files folder. Now let's grab a broken mod. Go to this link and download the mod. Open up the zip file and extract this folder. I'll just be doing the Violent Ken one for this example. Open your Files folder, go into your Street Fighter 6 Mods folder, and place the Violent Ken folder in it. Now we'll go through these folders until we get to the Color Mod Files. By the way, this folder here will always be character specific. 010 will always refer to Ken. These two folders, 01 and 002, refer to costumes 1 and 2. Then, 
Inside these folders are the CMD color mod files. Go to Fluffy Mod Manager, turn these mods on, and then launch the game. You can move and resize these and place these menus however you like. Now we reload our mods folder. Click on Script Generated UI, then Ultimate Mod Manager. Menu shape and size are controlled by moving this corner here. For the ultimate mod manager, I find it easier to open this in a separate window, but that is solely your choice. Once we are in here, it says, no mods available. We have to tell this where our mods folder is. Click Settings, and just below that, Edit. Navigate to your Mods folder and click OK. Now click Reread Directories, and the mod will now show. Before we turn it on, go to Training and Character Select. New Jersey Ken and Classic Ken loaded just fine. Back out and turn on the mod. Go back to Character Select and pick Ken. What you see happening now is the result of a broken mod. Uninstall the mod and close the game. Head back to your root folder, RE Framework folder, data and add a folder called Broken CMDs. We will go here in our Mods folder. Sift through all of these folders until we reach 001 and 002. Inside both of these folders you will see what we call the CMD file. Copy them both to the broken CMDs folder. Relaunch the game and open the script generated UI, then the resource editor. You can do this work with any menu in the background, but this one won't be making all the fun noises as you move back and forth. Click on Pick File, and this will open up a new window. Here we see the broken CMDs folder we created. Just a heads up, if you do not see this folder, that usually means you did not place the CMDs in it. Open this by double-clicking, and then double-click on the first CMD file. Here is our first hidden red flag. When opening this file, it should give you a prompt box and the option to click OK. The reason this didn't show up is because we have to change the JSON file. Double-click in this box and add AKI to the beginning. This is the same name we gave this file a few steps ago. If you don't input the name here to match the file name we changed earlier, it will not open. We are using Aki because that is when this mod broke. Click Set. Go back to Pick File and open that CMD again. And now we have our prompt box where we can click OK. We will also open the other CMD in the Pick File menu. Since the CMDs are loaded, we need to change the JSON file back to the current version. Click inside this box here and delete Aki, then click Set. Just below that, click Open Files, User Files, then the CMD line. Click Save here. You can opt to as a save copy if you prefer. 
I just know this is a broken mod and already have a copy of the broken file in case a mistake gets made. Do the same for the next CMD file. Let's open our mods folder and navigate to the 001 and 002 folders. Next, open the root folder. Go to RE Framework. Data. Broken CMDs. We are going to move the CMD files from the broken CMDs folder over to our mods folder. 001 goes in 001. And 2 and 2. If you get this mixed up, it won't load, so make sure you are placing these in the correct folders. Back in the game, open up Ultimate Mod Manager and click Reread Directories. Then load the mod. Head to Training Mode and Character Select, and the mods now load correctly. On the left is our root folder. On the right is one of our mods. Link for this one in the description. Navigate through these folders until you get here. On the root folder side, go here. Copy the CMD files from 1 to 9 over to the broken CMDs folder. In our mod folder, delete everything except the two folders at the top. We will now go through the steps of repairing the broken CMD files.
Taking a quick look at the mod, we see that it loaded, but the clothing is not properly animated. Copy this file name. Open a blank notepad and drag the extract pack file into it. Paste over this section with the file name you just copied. Close and save the notepad. Back in the root folder, click and drag this file, chunk 010, into the extract pack.bat file. This will open a prompt and starts to automatically unpack the pack file and makes a folder with the same name as the chunk file. In our root folder, we are taking a slightly different path, starting with the chunk 010 folder. Natives, STM, Product, Model, ESF. Then this time it's ESF 016 because we need a file from Jury. Copy this file over and change the name from 016 to 003. Back in the game. Go to Ultimate Mod Manager, Reread Directories, Load Mod, then head to Training.